Hey guys, my name is Josh or Enviers, and today I'm going to be giving you guys my top 15 prospects in the 2015 NBA Draft. Now these are only my predictions and we'll have to find out until Thursday night to see whether or not how correct or incorrect I am. With that said, let's get started. With the first pick in the NBA Draft, I can easily see the Minnesota Timberwolves selecting Carl Anthony Towns out of the University of Kentucky. He's already NBA ready and unlike Jaleel Okafor, he isn't a raw talent that you have to continue to work with. It's a no-brainer to draft Carl Towns at number one and maybe even Okafor at number one as well. But with Flip Saunders calling the shots, we can never know if he's going to draft another point guard. With the second overall pick in the NBA draft, the Los Angeles Lakers should be able to select Jaleel Okafor. It's kind of a no-brainer if Carl Anthony Towns has gone at number one. Okafor is the best option available at that position as well. Although they're going to have to work with him, get his jump shot right, he, he could be a dominant player in the league. There's been various sources that say that the Lakers are going to pass up Okafor and get a guard such as Emmanuel Moutier or D'Angelo Russell. With the third overall pick in the NBA draft, the Philadelphia 76ers should be able to select D'Angelo Russell, if not already taken by the Los Angeles Lakers. Now, sources say that Joel Embiid might just miss the next season as well with the re-aggravated foot injury. So if the Lakers do decide to take Russell instead of Okafor, Okafor should still be there at that spot so the Sixers can snap him up and try to replace Joel Embiid. With the fourth overall pick in the NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Emmanuel Moutier. Now, <laughs> they need a point guard. They, they need a power forward and they need a center. And just drafting Emmanuel Moutier I think is going to be a solid player. Personally, I've never seen him play because he's been playing in China and they don't show games in a Chinese league on national television. But for some reason, if they decide not to go after a point guard, the next solid pick would be Willie Colley Stein. He'd be a great fit for them considering they lost Tyson Chandler a year ago. With the fifth overall pick in the NBA draft, the Orlando Magic select Christopsis Porzingis. 7 foot 1 power forward out of Latavia. No one's really seen him, but I've seen a lot more of his game due to Grantland and all the articles they've written on him, more than I've seen of Emmanuel Moutier. A lot of similarities to Dirk because he's a big man that can shoot the three. But a nice second option for the Magic would be Justice Winslow because they do need a small forward position considering Tobias Harris is uncertain to return to the Magic. With a 6 overall pick in the NBA draft, the Sacramento Kings select Willie Colleystein. Imagine the duo of Willie and DeMarcus Cousins running in transition. That would be the Twin Towers remake, hopefully if they could get it together. Coach Carl said they need shot blocking and Willie Colleystein brings a lot of shot blocking. The second option could be Mario Hinzoja, who's a small forward and is getting comparisons as well to Peja Stojakovic. With the 7th overall pick in the NBA draft, the Denver Nuggets select Mario Hinzoja. Now the Nuggets are one of those teams that needs everything right now and Mario can probably play the shooting guard along with Danilo Gallinari and Wilson Chandler because they need some scoring but they also need some big men and unfortunately this 7th pick right here it's kind of in limbo because this isn't a place where you want to be in the draft. But if Justice Winslow is still on the board, he'd be a great second option to pick up. With the 8th overall pick in the NBA draft, the Detroit Pistons select Justice Winslow. And I know this is probably a stretch considering he's a selected top 5 prospect. But just based on team needs, the Detroit Pistons need a small forward. And all the other teams I see, besides the Magic and maybe the Nuggets, those are the only teams to be worrying about picking up Justice Winslow as well. A second option would be Stanley Johnson, the next best small forward in the draft. With the ninth overall pick in the NBA draft, the Charlotte Hornets selects Stanley Johnson. Now that Lance is gone, Stanley Johnson could probably get the start at shooting guard or play a swingman position similar to Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Although the lineup would probably not have that much shooters on the floor, a good second option at this pick is Devin Booker, a spot up shooter. With the 10th overall pick in the NBA draft, the Miami Heat select Kelly Oubre out of Kansas. Dwayne Wade's getting old and they're going to need that swing man to step up and eventually become a starter and a leader for that team. And I think Kelly Oubre could be just that. If not, the second option again would be a guy like Devin Booker, one of the best three-point shooters in the draft. With the 11th overall pick in the NBA draft, the Indiana Pacers select Miles Turner, my guy out of Texas can shoot the mid-range jumper and probably stretch out to the three-point line as well. Considering the Pacers are deciding whether or not to keep Roy Hibbert and run a faster pace, Miles Turner is the perfect backup center for Roy Hibbert and could possibly even start over him one day. If not, a second choice could be a guy like Bobby Portis 
SEC Player of the Year. With the 12th overall pick in the NBA draft, the Utah Jazz select Sam Decker. And this probably could happen considering Sam Decker had an amazing March Madness season and would be a great fit for Gordon Hayward so Gordon Hayward could play his shooting guard position instead of small forward. If not, a great second choice for the Utah Jazz could be a guy like Frank Kaminsky. With the 13th pick in the NBA draft, the Phoenix Suns select Frank Kaminsky. The Suns need a guy that could stretch the floor that isn't the Morris Twins, similar to the role of Channing Frye a few years ago. A good backup selection could be a guy like Devin Booker once again because at the shooting guard position, that's probably one of their deepest holes right now, unless they decide to re-sign Brandon Knight. With the 14th overall pick in the NBA draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select Devin Booker. With Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook currently on the team, they don't need another guy like Deion Waiters to jack up shots, but a guy that could spot up and can actually be a solid two guard in the league. With the possibility of Josh Hustis from last year's draft making the team as well, it's going to be a solid rotation for them at the two guard in OKC. The second option at this pick can be a guy like Cameron Payne. They need a backup point guard depending on their situation with DJ Augustine. With a 15th overall pick in the NBA draft, the Atlanta Hawks select Trey Lyles out of Kentucky. As a team moving forward, Atlanta needs a center and not Al Horford. Al Horford is a traditional power forward and Trey Lyles could be that traditional backup for him. Unless he gets the Adrian Payne treatment there, but a good second choice would be Bobby Portis once again. So that is my top 15 predictions of this upcoming draft. Leave your predictions in the comments below before Thursday night and we'll see how we match up. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to share this video with your friends who love draft night and just love college sports in general. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.